Hey, I'm Dave Chang. Um, I'm gonna make fried rice with leftover ingredients or things that are just, you know, we're, I prepped out too much and it's not enough or it's too much and this is how you make fried rice. It's always the leftover stuff, whether it's cooked or raw ingredients. And I have eggs. I mean, at the end of the day, if you just did fried rice and there's a variety of fried rice, what I'm gonna make today is probably gonna make the people that are the authenticity police be like, what the hell are you making? They should just shut up. It's just, it's very easy. I'm gonna make something delicious. There's gonna be no wok hay. I'm not trying to do anything. Just wanna make something tasty and quick. Again, fried rice is made in my house almost every day, right? We almost always take the rice cooked from the, the day before um, and roll it into breakfast of some sort. So, and I take whatever we have the night before and this is usually the breakfast. So I have some shrimp that I didn't use all of. I have some leftover scallions. I have a knob of chili and um, we're gonna figure this out. First, I'm just gonna peel these finish peeling these. And the only reason I'm deciding to use this is if I didn't have any of this stuff, I would just make an egg fried rice. This is how I grew up eating, bokumbap. You know, my mom would make every kind of fried rice um, basically for breakfast. Uh, all the time. So I'm gonna just chop these in. Again, if I had a couple strips of bacon, I'd use this. I, if I had leftover steak from the night before, this would be going in there, you know. I'm, I'm never making like fried rice at home, at least with brand new ingredients. Part of how I think about home cooking is having your pantry, having your staple set of things that you can always depend on. That being, you know, vinegar, soy sauce of tamari, my salts, and the chili crunch. And, you know, you have the things you're gonna need, cooking oils, something sweet, sugar, agave, whatever. And once I know I have that, then I can go anywhere I really want. I took some, I had some leftover scallions. It's really not that much. I had some leftover scallions, a knob of um, Anaheim chili, and I think five pieces of frozen shrimp. And that's it. I, I haven't added any seasoning yet. I'm gonna add some savory salt. Heat's important with cold rice, and if I'm using day-old rice, I really want to get it heated thoroughly because it has a proper heat where it makes it less sticky, even if you're using sticky rice. Mm. 
need a little sweetness in your fried rice. This one. So again, I just had the leftover shrimp, Anaheim chili, the tiniest bit of scallions. Um, added the rice and I seasoned it with some savory salt, a little Momo soy sauce, and a little sugar in the agave. easily just added the eggs with the fried rice and done. but my household myself I love having a runny egg yolk and um, this is just how I've grown up eating it and I see on social media that this is all the rage it's like welcome to thousands of years of making fried rice with a fried, fried egg on top you're doing nothing new and again, I'm only using this because it's here, but um, I'd use any skillet. I put it a little on to um, help just cook through the yolk just a little bit. Chili crunch. This is um, very dangerous. <laughs> it's super, super dangerous because um, you can eat it all in one day. So, because one of the things I love is black truffle, white truffle with eggs. That's just and rice. That's a holy combination. So, I could have done this with just white rice, but I wanted to. Um, use all the leftover ingredients that I had at my disposal. So if I didn't have even the leftover ingredients, if I just had rice, I would have just heated the rice up, maybe added some sesame oil um, and cooked this with the eggs and then added this and that's it. That's a good breakfast. It's better than cereal. Sure. 